Hey YouTube, today we're going to be talking about bearded dragons and I'm going to give you seven fun tips that you may not have known about them. Up next! This is Smog, my beardy. He's about two years old. And today we're going to be going over a few fun facts. Number one is that these guys are native to inland Australia. Uh, they actually have several uh, subspecies, but the most common one in the pet trade is from Central Australia. That's these guys. And Australia eventually passed uh, a ban on exporting their wildlife as pets. So if you have a bearded dragon in the United States right now, it's probably a product of many years of captive breeding. And that's how we have so many really weird morphs, as they call them now. And it's folks who have been working with um, selective breeding and have created some really cool uh, looking beardies. Second fact is that they're actually from the Agama family. So they're really more related to things like the frilled lizards or the Asian water dragons. The next fact is actually their name. Their name, which many of you I'm sure have figured out, but not everyone knows, comes from the extra skin right under their jaw that actually can puff out and extend out and it does turn black when they are stressed, giving them a bit of a, a black beard. So they puff this out, it turns black, and that is how they get their name of Bearded Dragon. Now, another fun fact, with something that usually people don't notice, is that similar to uh, chameleons and some other lizards, they actually have a sticky tongue at the tip. It's not necessarily one that's going to shoot out like a chameleon, but it does have a sticky tip to it to allow them to grip their prey and grab it better, which is good for fast-moving prey like crickets and things like that. So the parietal eye, also known as the pineal eye or the third eye, is this little weird spot that you can sometimes see right at the top right here. It's one weird looking scale. It's the only thing that's a little bit different at the top of their head. If you can see it there. And it essentially is a photosensory organ, which means it can sense light. So it's not a traditional eye in the sense that it can see things or process or anything like that. It purely can sense uh, shadows and shades and things like that. Um, so if you come at them like this, they can sense that. Another fun fact is that they have what's called femoral pores. Now if you look real careful right here, you see these little pores and these are called femoral pores. Now they're not as pronounced in females but it is something that you can definitely see really well in the males and those pores uh, can excrete a waxy sebaceous kind of substance and it essentially has pheromones in it to help mark their territory. This is something they use out in the wild for dominance and making sure that other males don't come around and that this is their area. It's also something that lets the females know that they are there and they're close by and that this is their area. Now the last fun fact is not something that happens very commonly but it can happen. These little guys do have the ability to, uh, if they need to or want to, um, run faster by getting up and running on their rear le limbs. Um, it's not something you see very common, but there are some other YouTube videos out there that you can check out uh, of them 
getting up and running away on their rear limbs. Um, it's not exactly something that happens all the time, but it is something that they can do if they're really, really scared and absolutely need to. So it's another really fun fact about bearded dragons. So I hope you enjoyed those fun facts. Uh, as always, go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. We always appreciate your support. And if you like videos like this, we are happy to keep on making them. Just go ahead and leave your suggestions for more videos in the comments section below as well as any questions or comments that you might have about fun facts with bearded dragons.